This is your News Now Sports. By winning the Division III State Cross Country Championship back in the fall, Perry senior Brady Yank solidified himself in the upper echelon of the state's distance runners. Today, he achieves all-time elite status. Yanks competes in a pair of races at the state track and field meet in Columbus, and he puts on a show. First up, the 1,600-meter run, in which he broke the D3 state record earlier this spring. Today, he breaks the D3 state meet record, claiming gold in 4 minutes, 10.74 seconds, and he wasn't done climbing to the top of podiums. Yanks then wins the 30. 200 meter run in nine minutes 14.46 ticks he completes the distance race triple crown to cap his senior season of high school my freshman year here at jesse Owens state i was 17th out of 18 senior runners in a mile and it's just i put these expectations on and to, and to cap it off with a you know really a perfect senior year at state meets and cross country track and and man you know enjoying it i'm just enjoying i'm done high school is over i'm just enjoying being on the infield with my best friends that i've made on the track and coming up with two more state titles i mean there's nothing more i could ask for Yanks isn't the only dual state champion coming back northwest. In the Division II meet, Ottawa Glandorf Jr. Alexa Fortman wins the state title in the 400-meter dash, hitting the stripe in 55.74 seconds. Then just 25 minutes later, she's at it again. Fortman breaks both the D2 state record and state meet record, winning the 800 meters in 2 minutes, 8.6 seconds. Best of all, today just happens to be the young Titans' birthday. I'm super excited. I just kind of wanted to go run my race and give God all the glory. He gave me the gift to run and just use it to give him the glory. It's awesome. I really hope I can inspire a lot of younger runners to just work hard and just see the results and do their best. Back into Division Three, we go for another dual state champ. Layman Catholic senior Kirsten Franklin begins her day with a 100-meter dash state crown, crossing in 12.05 seconds. Then late in the meet, she's back on track, and this time repeating as the 200-meter state champion. This title-winning time is 24.8 ticks. Oh, it feels really good to win a 100-meter dash. Like, from the start, I knew that I had it, and I prayed before the race, and I just thank God for letting me finish strong today. The Division Three girls 400 meter dash belongs to Wayne Trace Jr. Sydney Sin, who paces the pack to the finish line in 55.92 seconds. Sin, too, is a two time champion today. In the 4x400 meter relay, she anchors the Raiders to this championship in three minutes, 55.95 seconds. I think that race kind of means a lot to all of us. We knew from the beginning of the year that we wanted to come out here. We got second last year and kind of left a bitter taste in our mouth. So we really wanted to just get back here and show everyone what we got. And we ended up running a 355, I think. So five second PR and a new school record. Minster junior Taylor Roth is also heading home from Columbus with a pair of golds hanging around her neck. Roth today wins the 800 meter run, finishing in two minutes, 12.65 ticks. This just one day after anchoring the Lady Cats to victory in the four by 800 meter relay. I'm still shocked. I don't think it'll sink until later, if I'm honest. Um, it was super exciting. I was obviously super excited and so proud of my competition because I've gotten really close to them. I was not expecting to come home with two gold medals. I mean, you're always hopeful for that, but it's still pretty shocking. Coldwater senior Tyler Schwederman today caps his athletic career with a second gold medal. The defending state champion in the D3 boys 300 meter hurdles goes out there and repeats as the title winner in that race. Schwederman hits the stripe at a championship time of 38.96 seconds. He also took sixth in the 110 meter hurdles today. I mean, I won last year, so there's a lot of pressure coming back this year, so I really wanted to go again. But, I mean, it feels great. Yeah, very thankful. The atmosphere is awesome here. You know, the competition was a lot better this year, too. I mean, so I really had to give it my all. Back in D2, Benjamin Logan Sr., Brady Burry wins the boys' 400-meter dash state crown, stopping the clock at 48.45 seconds this afternoon. Burry also finished seventh in the 200-meter dash today. Plenty of other marquee performances just shy of the top of the podium by local athletes. D2 boys discus Taryn Tayo from Versailles throws 167 feet 10 inches. Tayo ends his senior year as a state track and field runner-up, state wrestling runner-up, and state football champ. Division 3 on the track, Savannah Ridenauer anchors Columbus Groves girls to 5th place in the 4x200-meter relay. 145.23 is their time. 1600-meter run, Fort Loramie senior Claire Rethman finishes as state runner-up, hitting the line in 4 minutes, 58.25 seconds. 
seconds. More Shelby County flair in the 4x100-meter relay. Caitlin Harris anchors Anna to a second-place finish in 49.57. The Rockets' boys also hit the podium in the 4x1. Justin Richards runs the last leg as Anna places fourth in 43.76 ticks. Girls, 300-meter hurdles. Marion local senior Sammy Holscher's the state runner-up, finishing this race in 43.72 seconds. And the girls, seated 800 meters. For Lormie Jr., Jessica Albers finishes with a silver medal. Albers, plenty busy this weekend, hitting the podium at all four of her events. Boys, 4x400 meter relay. Landon Armstrong anchors Bluffton to second place, finishing in three minutes, 23.25. Armstrong also placed fourth in the 800 meter run. Division two, girls, 300 meter hurdles. Kenton Sr., Addie Mod makes the podium in fifth with a time of 45.32 seconds. Speaking of podium finishes, Paul thinks Claire Schweller climbs to the second highest spot with a mark of 11 feet, 10 inches in the D2 girls pole vault. Division one action, we only have a handful of competitors and three make it to the podium. Finley Sr., Brianna Nichols is eighth in the disc with a top toss of 119 feet 6 inches. Elida Sr., Connor Douglas, clears 14 feet in the boys' pole vault. That ties him for 8th place. And Shawnee Sr., KJ Upshaw, takes 8th in the boys' 100-meter dash, finishing in 10.74 seconds.